Hi! In this episode we'll learn about main components of Ember.js framework and we'll see in theory how all of them work together and what each of them is responsible for. Of course, that's going to be a simplified version of what actually happens, but nevertheless, it'd be useful to understand the 10,000 feet view picture. So when developing Ember application, you need to focus on your URL first. That's the most important and central part of any web application. URL defines persistent application state, and we as developers just define what happens there, what data and behavior is there. So all starts with URL. And the router translates this URL into a series of nested templates, each backed by a model. It does this by auto-generating several objects. But first, let's look how we define a route. Inside map function of router object, we define route or resource. And this simple line of code defines URL route books and generates several objects. Route object, controller object, and view object, which we won't cover in this course, but view object simply renders templates to the DOM and generates events. So this is the responsibility of the router. Define URL mapping, create required objects, and delegate action there to the route object. So now when we go to books URL, execution goes to books route object. The responsibility of a route object is to tell the template which model it should display. And it does it by binding modal to a controller. This modal can be any JavaScript standard object or Ember object or Ember data object, it doesn't really matter. It can fetch data from server or from third-party application, etc. So now controller object has this modal, and one of the main responsibilities of a controller is to grant access to this model to the template. But that's not all. If it would have been all, then what is the purpose to have a controller if we could just use route object? So here are several other responsibilities of a controller. So it can decorate model by introducing new values, converting data to a specific format for presentation, etc. So this responsibility is a way to prepare model for presentation and template. Another one is to store application state. Application state is some data which is not required to be persisted. For example, visibility of some element on the page. So this is a data which can be lost with the page refresh. And the last one is event handling. Templates can generate events or action in Ember Play. For example, when a user clicks on a button in a template, template generates height description action and sends it to the controller. Now the controller can catch this action and process it. If there is no event handler in controller, it will bubble it up to the route object. Which means that route object also has this responsibility. And we'll of course see all of this in action during the course. Now to the templates. The main responsibility of a template is to describe the user interface of your application. Each template is backed by a model and the template automatically updates itself if the model changes. Template itself is a handlebars template, so it mainly consists of HTML, but also it contains expressions, outlets, and component. Expressions takes information from modal and place it into HTML, as well as provides some helpers for iteration through collections and conditions. Outlets are placeholders for other templates, for example, sub-templates. And components are custom HTML templates, which can be reused in several templates or even between applications. So this is it. This is the basic flow of Ember application and responsibilities of its parts. And all of these objects are created in memory automatically by Ember with just one simple line in router map, right here. So if, for example, you do not need any of these responsibilities of a controller, you do not need to define it because Ember already defined controller and uses it behind the scenes. Okay, in this episode we looked into Ember parts and how they communicate with each other. In the next episode we'll start learning Ember in practice. So thank you very much for your time and see you then.